Hey YouTube. So we got a pumpkin today to get ready for Halloween because it's my favorite holiday. Love Halloween. Brandon's also doing a Facebook Live as we do this. So whoever's watching Facebook will be able to see the video later. Let me try this is fucking set. embarrassing. Though. Set that one there. And... I need some assistance here. I'm like, this is kind of bullshit. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, shit. That's what's up. She's a little prick. Look at one to the inside of our pumpkin. Look at this little son of a bitch. I'll show YouTube first. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to go to shove my freaking hand right down there. I think, uh, I'm going to Hannibal vlog as well. Yeah. What's going on, Hannibal? Woo! But you got a fucking pumpkin. Oh, sh How skishy is it? Oh. Yeah. Feels great. I'll get the seeds out. Feels like I'm gutting one of my enemies. Oh, it's actually really cold. <laughs> it's actually like really cold. <laughs> Freezing cold. You want a spoon? Yeah, I'd probably help. We have a silver spoon. I see, I see what she's doing. She's going to be the one doing the face and shit, and I'm going to be the one doing the hard stuff. See how it is. Well, I can do that. I'm bugging you, babe. I'm bugging you. You kind of took over. So. I haven't did this in years. It's actually really cool. <laughs> we'll have hot chocolate or hot apple cider after one of the hands. You'll switch for a minute. Okay. You want to trade off? Oh. Oh, the oh, fling. It wasn't flinging. I was flinging it back in the bowl. Ah, oh, I just put apple or friggin' pumpkin in my hair. You gotta figure out what design you're doing for this, too. What? You gotta figure out what design you're doing. I'm just doing it fucking old school. Just a couple eyes. Regular jack o' lantern. Regular jack o' lantern. I ain't doing no good. We only have one pumpkin. We don't have any redos. Yeah, this one I got made at. I think uh, you guys this way. So. Spencerville. Yeah, my freaking arm is in the way. Shit. Uh, Spencerville, um, Joe Peter. You're that's in the building. Where I'm gonna set you. Uh, that's what's up, brother. Uh, my hands are. You can go back over here. If you want to? Here. Okay. There we go. Let me just fuck show my hand back in the sun, bitch. Oh, yeah. Digging for gold. Sir, fist and little pun. You just gotta rip it out. Can you taste the guts of your enemies? Can't let I have three people watching this, man. What's everybody up to today? What do you guys think? Is that contempt leaves some damage, eh? Oh, uh, yeah. For... Yeah, he said, oh, girl! Anybody... What's going on, homie? On YouTube that hasn't seen, um, DJ Immortal slash Brandon has started a sister channel called Outlaw Radio Exclusive. Hey guys, when you hit that G spot. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. And we'll be interviewing me, Brand G Ram. Uh, we'll be interviewing what is it like actors, wrestlers. Well, we're starting out. Trying so. to like what's well, our plan anyway? So yeah, guys. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Outlaw Radio exclusive. Okay, the wife was just telling her YouTube audience. Um, Outlaw Radio Exclusive is another place. It's Outlaw Radio Live's sister platform. Um, so, a little bit about that is... Um, so, we're going to be doing it. So, GRAM, which is Graham Roy, uh, my wife Victoria, and myself, we're all going to be doing interviews. But it's um, an Outlaw... It's like a YouTube exclusive only, so it's going to be completely separate from the normal Evlog Radio Live. So a little bit about that is like, um, I've re I, so far I've reached out to some wrestlers, um, some actors. Um, I end up emailing Tom Wolpat from the Dukes of Hazard um, because you know what? Fuck it, because I could. You never know, right? Because it's, it's Luke fucking Duke. Luke fucking Duke. I'd rather have Bo, but whatever. You can't always get what you want in your life. But at the end of the day, either way, it's one of those things where it gives more than just rap artists a chance to be heard. It gives athletes, um, inspiring artists, anything for a chance to be heard. You can get a chance to be interviewed. So, and I, it's also a way for not just myself, but the entire Outlaw Radio team to be active and more and engage more in what we do. Because we, for instance, Graham, we have, for instance, for Graham, he's our promoter, but. But before, all it was was like post the posters, share the posters, but like all he does is share posters. I want him to get him more interactive in the show. If he's part of the team, I want him to be more interactive. You know what I mean? I want him to, I want him to get noticed just as much as I'm getting noticed. So, with that being said, Outlaw Radio Exclusive is Outlaw Radio Live sister company where we have all, everybody. Like, I mean, if you're, um, say if you are an artist, um, you fucking are a painter and you want to make money off paintings, for instance. Hit up one of your guys. You know what I mean? We got you. We can help uh, do a video. We can interview you. We can put you on the Outlaw Radio Live exclusive. We can showcase some of your paintings on the video. Uh, if you're an athlete, like a wrestler, which, you know what I mean? Come right here. You know what I'm saying? If you're a wrestler, hit, me, hit, me, hit up your boy. I can interview you. We can talk about your uh, wrestling career. But it won't go live on the air. Okay? So Outlaw Radio Live is, my, is like a thing... Where we all still work it, but it's just the, only the rap music. So rap music, rap artists, is Outlaw Radio Live. We got Outlaw Radio Live exclusive, where, for instance, Adam Moon, he's watching. So a little bit of Adam, he owns his own website, where he has, uh, I forgot what it's called, but he actually interviews people, like, through, uh, he's, he's literally has his own website. So say if he wants to come on and promote his own website, he hits me, he hits one of us up, and we interview him. So, yeah. so it's... Anybody and everyone. As long as, no offense, you're good. If you're talented, you know what I mean? It is how I look at it as, right? It's a way for us to expand our horizons all over. Not just rap music, if you're a rock band, jazz, um, any, any musical genre, um, anything. And then maybe we can grow on YouTube and actually start interviewing huge people. You know, it's, uh, it's a little bit of everything, man. It's just a way for all of us to get uh, to get engaged. But, like I said, Outlaw Radio Live is still the same. Two and a half hours of rap music, we interview rap artists. That shit ain't gonna change. That's never gonna change, man. That's my baby, that's my first creation. That ain't ended. Because like I said, we got some great Outlaw Radio Live interviews coming up. We got Cuzzle Fly of the Loonies tonight. We're gonna be interviewing him right before he hits the stage in Denver, Colorado. We're not going to shove my hand up this pop pumpkin's ass. I think I got it. Alright, let's start cutting the fucking face open. Well, hold on. I think I got the majority of it. Do you like to play with knives? I'm just kidding. I'm just bugging you guys. <laughs> I'm not one of them weird white boys. And it's like, oh shit, you, you crazy white boy who loves knives. No, I'm just fucking with you guys. So... In the comments, guys, let us know what you guys like doing for Halloween. But this what's, is where I live, guys. What's your favorite thing for this Halloween? This is outside my house. Decorating pumpkins? 
Cutting so I'll give you guys a little bit of a look. Decorating the nose. If anybody ever tells you guys, oh, Just Canadians that. have snow Canada. all year round. We got Canada. See that, motherfucker? See that, guys? We got stuff to It wasn't just for the kids. I like because there's a discussion on Facebook right now saying, hey, how you doing? um, pretty good. You want to put some work in? Sorry. There's a discussion on Facebook saying, you know, should there be a certain age group of when you stop giving like candy to people? Like, should you be a like, should it stop at? I think they said like 12 years old. Like, stop giving candy that was to people outside, that guys. are older than 12 years old. I say, you know, and not, he's not my superintendent. He's actually a super. Matter, like, whatever very age. cool guy. If you're dressed up and you come to our door, you should be able to get candy. You know? I know, it's nice grass. Hit. That's where we moved to, man. It you don't fuck around, man. We don't live like in the ghetto no more, guys. If you want to be a kid, you know? be a kid. So a little back room. If you want to go out dressed up, collect candy. Go collect candy. What's going on, Tank? I don't think there this should be a set apartment. age group. So, Beautiful back deck as well. So what happens when you like, make it out the hood, yo? Everybody loves Halloween. It's not like you stop liking Halloween at a certain age. If you're 60 years old, you're gonna like Halloween. You should be able to enjoy it. Alright, I think this bad boy is pretty much gutted. Wait till Brandon comes back in so that we can. Let him carve and cut and do whatever the face is that he wants. But I hope everybody has a good Halloween because I love Halloween. I'm gonna take the pumpkin seeds and roast them. I'm gonna roast the pumpkin seeds, have themselves a different kind of snack tonight. With our candy. Brandon's got a show tonight. Um, Outlaw Radio Live. He's interviewing Puzzle Fly of the Loonies. Um, so that's, that's tonight. To show goes on at 8. Puzzle will be on at 8.30. What was that? Letting... Uh, hey yo, YouTube, say hello to Facebook Live. We got Ryan and this motherfucker. We got Hannibal. Don't fuck with Hannibal, man. He'll bite your goddamn nose off. Straight up. He's a, he's a straight up G. Don't fuck with him. We got Tank in this motherfucker, too. Straight up. Boom, boom. <laughs> it's hard to read those names, but yeah. If anybody in the no, Facebook guys, group that is a little bit or Facebook place. Live video. Um, I'm going to go carve the rest of this, this video, You know, carve you know who you are. I'm going to let you guys go. But yeah, um, show you guys what it looks like so far. Ideas. Uh, what you got? What you guys want to see on Outlaw Radio exclusive? Um, this is a trial okay, are gone. Okay, so if it flops, it flops. Yeah. So I get to uh, go through the bowl. Um, I got to, um, Check out all the seeds, oh, shit, man, that's not bad. You're to and then we'll be roasting them. We'll I'm just waiting for Brandon to come back so we can carve it. You know, carve um, this pumpkin. Anybody want to see any action? Fuck is gonna be like a right, pumpkin with Down syndrome. And the eye pops right out. <laughs> Making his eye hole a little bit here. Oh, Look at that. Oh, yeah, the fuck his eye. You know what I'm saying? Peekaboo. <laughs> Want to say hi, Saline? Yeah? Sal, stop scratching. He gets a little bit tension and then he decides to act up. It's 
look at how nice it is outside. Definitely gonna go by walk by the water after we're done this shit. Oh yeah. Maybe it has sex on the beach. Whoa, wait, we're filming? Oh shoot. And the eyeball fell on the floor. Tell no. Tell him man. Whoa shit, alright. Hey, look, he has a Forrest Whitaker eye going on. <laughs> One's bigger than the other. That's what I mean, Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> it's okay, we'll change that. Just cut some more out of it. Is there a library movie here today? Yeah. We forgot to take them. I guess we'll have to do them after. Are they open right now? Great, now, now we owe four dollars. Oh, it's my fault, fuck. So guys, last enough day, if you have a fucking goddamn uh, memory issues, don't rent fucking movies, okay? Okay. Oh, but, while Brandon's working on that, I'm gonna show them the Terry movie. Go ahead. Because a lot of people probably don't know. Our apartment, so. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a good movie, check out Terry. It is a really good movie. It's based on Terry Fox and uh, The Marathon of Hope. We watched it last night. We've, uh, we've seen it before in school, but we wanted to watch it again. About a Canadian oh, hero. Oh, it's going to be the most fucked up pumpkin ever. <laughs> You guys, uh, if you guys look back in our videos, you will see where we did the Terry Fox run here in Prescott. Raised money for cancer research, so. But that movie um, that I just showed you guys, it, so. it explains, like, it tells his story from when he started the if run. If anybody, anybody has a wrong thing to say about Terry Fox, come over there. I'll fucking kick your fucking teeth in. Trust me, I'll do it. Yeah, Terry's a Canadian hero. I'm fucking right he is. You name a one-legged man that ran around the whole goddamn country, I'll wait. You know what I mean? Anybody has anything bad to say about that, man? I'll fuck you with a goddamn machete. Sorry, guys, but that Salem was trying to get into our treat bags. Little prick. So. Leave my chips alone, boy. So People the... are gonna drive by and be like, what autistic motherfucker made this pumpkin? Because it's just, yeah. There's no teeth. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're, it, it's, it's, a, it's a Brockville pumpkin. It's a crackhead. It lost its teeth because it spent the entire fucking summer smoking crack with the other Brockvillians. If any Brock people are watching this, fuck off. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, you got a new follower not too long ago. How you doing, Tyler Campbell? How you doing, buddy? Yeah. I heard you running your fucking mouth uh, when we were driving past you the other day, eh? And then you follow our YouTube channel. Do I sit, do I hear a slithery snake among us on YouTube? But I do gotta say, man, thank you so much for the subscribe. And thank you so much for being a piece of shit. Because, you know what's funny? You might be sitting here watching this video laughing, but you're actually putting money in my wife's pocket. So guess what? Suck my big fat white fucking cock. You fucking bird. I had to say that because I know he's probably going to watch this video. So. How's it going? Yeah. I, was... no, I mean you, the pumpkin. Oh. There you go. Not bad. It's not bad. His nose is a little crooked. But it's fine. Whatever. Well, hey, you know what? Actually, this was this was Tyler Campbell's nose after I fucking after I fucking smashed him in the face with a bag of video games. Yes, I did do that. See, that's, that's kind of how I am. Well, see, guys, the pumpkin doesn't look that bad. It actually, looks really good. I even know. He's screaming. He... <gasps> looks like he has Down syndrome. Hey, it looks like Tyler Campbell! Oh, 
Oh, shit. And you know what's funny? And this is when he decided to uh, sleep beside Andy Chataway. That's a dirt from Andy Chataway right here. Yeah. So, yeah. And there's our pumpkin. Savage! Alright, guys. So, that's our pumpkin. Um... It is what it is. I'm DJ Immortal, Outlaw Radio Live, the shit talker among us. I talk shit, but I can back it up in person. I'm DJ Immortal. And if you don't like what we bring to the table, fuck off. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween to the VNB. Holy fucking shit. VNB Experience YouTube channel fans. I am the crazy husband, the psycho, the psychotic. The I produce Down syndrome looking pumpkins, but I'll tell you how it is. I don't know why I keep rubbing my hands nonstop, but you know what I have to say? Fuck off if you don't like me. So, another decoration to add to our thing. And I'll show you guys. I don't know if anybody saw, but. Another decoration. Some blood going down our wall. We still have some more to put up. But. Top bit. And wait for it. Oh shit. He goes, no, I think he had it. I think it goes out. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's gone. Hello! Watch out, watch out. It is gone. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. He lost the top to the pumpkin. Fucking Jesus. Come on, you son of a bitch. Don't keep filming me. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I'm sure everybody on here, when you've done pumpkin sauce, yeah, something Yeah, but I gotta, you gotta dry it out, though, man. Let it dry okay, a little we'll bit. Okay, well, let it sit. Dry it out. And then we'll put it out. And then put it outside with a candle in it tonight. That works. We have lots of candles. So, alright, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And since it's Halloween, getting closer and closer, I will be doing more Halloween videos. And remember, if you don't hit that bell, we gonna get you! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> There's a... Uh, I don't know if we'll get to check it out, because Brand's pretty much booked up every Saturday. Um, but the 29th and the 31st, Lux Boutique here in Prescott is having has an adult haunted house where it's just donations for the food bank and that. Mm -hmm. Donate food or monetary donations. There's the pumpkin walk on November 1st here in Prescott down at the water. And there's the dance that Brandon's been itching to go to. It's November 2nd. It's after Halloween, but I guess that's the closest date they had to Halloween to do it. So it's at the fire hall. We still have to get costumes. Which I want to put him in a dress. So who thinks he should go in a dress and a wig for Halloween? And heel. Well, he's too tall. He doesn't need heels. But. Fuck you. <laughs> Ashley, I know you want to. <laughs> Simba. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you can get away with Simba, Simba in your wife, you have a keeper. Don't get rid of her. <laughs> Yeah, so we have possibly the haunted house, the walk, and the dance for Halloween. So, plus, I will be filming. Um, her ear is so tasty. Halloween here. Ow! Sorry, sorry. I like a nibble. 
I'll be filming Halloween here and hopefully you guys will get to see the trick-or-treaters that we get. Hopefully we get some. Trick-or-treat. Um, some people in well, the press got upset. I don't know that people would like their kids being filmed. Well, no, I'll film us. I'm not going to oh, film the kids, okay, obviously. So I, I want to make sure. I, I just, yeah. I, I know better than that, but yeah. Because you don't want to go to Lindsay. No. Trust me, you don't want to go to, you don't want to go to, like, Central East Correctional Center. No. Trust me. I know that. I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I've been there, and you know what, I'm not, I'm not proud of it, but you don't want to go there. Hell but we'll see no! What, what? But we'll see what I can get. So hopefully... I don't care if I killed the mood. Fuck it, I've been to prison. Suck, suck my cock. <laughs> hopefully... Everybody makes mistakes. That's true. It happens. And you know what? I'm not proud of it, but I want to tell people don't do stupid shit like I did. Don't stick your dick in a, in a crazy bitch that will fuck your life over. Trust me. I dated a woman 10 years older than me. And I'm 40. I know, I know, I know it sounds terrible. I'm, but don't go to a bar and stick your dick in the first woman you meet. I'm looking at you, YouTube. Don't do it. Because that's what I did. Eight months of hell. Followed by two years of court cases. And then three months in jail. Then I got out. But I had this beautiful woman by my side. Through it all. So, you know what? I can't complain. <laughs> you done your rant? Possibly. <laughs> but just kidding, guys. We love YouTube. I love you guys. People that are haters that are watching me. Fuck you. Not you know what? No, 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 no. I take that back. Thank you. I'm going to look right in the camera here. Thank you, guys. For always, doubt for always doubting me. After with everything. That's what I'm doing with my life. I got out of the ghetto. I got out of Brackville. Mm -hmm. I have a beautiful wife. I have my own radio show called Outlaw Radio Live. I'm interviewing Daz Dillinger. I interviewed Biz Markey the other night. I'm interview I have interviewed Tupac's cousin. I have I am booked up for all of 2019 of interviews of famous individuals. So if it wasn't for the hate that you guys have given me. You wouldn't have fueled me to do bigger and better things and prove all you pieces of low-life sacks of Brockville shit wrong. I'm out of Brockville. I live in a gorgeous home. I have a sexy wife. And I'm on my fast track of making a lot of famous friends. So guess what I have to say to you guys? And I know a couple haters are subscribed, so I want to say, eat shit. And expanding, hopefully expanding. Well, you know what? It will it, it will work out if you put some hard work and hard work into it, and we will expand. And guess what? Eat shit. Because when we when we when we sit on a stack of cash, guess what? I won't do. Give you a dime. Actually, I might toss you a I might toss you a like two quarters and tell you to call someone who gives a fucking shit. Other than that, question. Just, yes. The outlaw. Radio exclusive. Is it going to be on your same YouTube page or did you make it different? Different, different YouTube page, okay. guys. So this is a sister uh, business, okay? This is different. Outlaw Radio Live is just. Outlaw Radio Live is my thing, okay? I'm never going to give that shit up because you know what? I've worked fucking months and months and months on it, okay? I can't give that up. That's just, this is not going to happen. So we have kind of like a promotion. Picture this Outlaw Radio Live is the WWE, the show of all shows. And exclusive is the NXT, the up-and-coming people. That is what I have, okay? And yes, I don't know how I really hope that I just compared my show to garbage. But that is okay, because it's not. We got Daz Dillinger coming up. We got Capone, all right? We got people that work with Tupac and Mauro Shakur. I interviewed Busy, uh, Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony and Biz Markey, so... But so I will, again, <laughs> put the links for... Outlaw Radio Live. Oh, yeah. And um, I will put the link for the exclusive once we get going in one of the videos. Um, I know he has a couple coming up that I believe are going to go right on the Outlaw exclusive. So once those go up, we will uh, put the link in. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a good Halloween. Like I said, we'll, I will have some more videos the closer it gets to Halloween because I love Halloween. 
it's my favorite time of year and well favorite time of year because of halloween and it's our two-year anniversary three days two years putting up with me three years she's a champion yeah two-year wedding anniversary on the 28th so you know another reason for it to be my favorite time of year um but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and like i said have a happy halloween safe halloween make sure if you guys are going out you're wearing you know light colors or if you're wearing a dark costume wear get like something reflective or use a flashlight don't that way do it. Live dangerously. that way to make sure you're you know you or your kids don't get hit by cars because some people especially around some of the areas here don't listen live dangerously drive crazy we don't want to see anybody get hurt so you know just take those precautions and as always you know be careful the houses that you go to if you're getting like big goods and stuff make sure you're checking your candy and checking all your stuff just or even better go to houses that you only know um but if you're going to houses you don't know, make sure you, you check it. Seeing a lot of scary stories of kids getting candy with like needles and razor blades hidden in the candy. Just make sure you check it. Honestly. So yeah, be safe guys. Have a good Halloween and we will see you soon. The pumpkin is lit. Check out that sick jack-o'-lantern, man. <laughs> Gnarly. Yeah, jack o is all lit. Our first year doing a jack-o'-lantern because we haven't had somewhere to put it. Hey, yo, so before you stop it, catch you later, Bill and Ted. <gasps> so yeah, there's our finished product. Our jack o -lantern. Brandon put the candles inside. Now we just wait for Halloween.